Yo guys, Nep here, and since you guys liked my last tips video on FNCS, I'm here to give tips on how to make finals and get yourself a spot in heats. Before we get into it, subscribe if you want to qualify, and yeah guys, let's get onto the tips. First of all, I'm going to be talking about how the format works in terms of getting heats, and also how you can make round 3 in both qualifiers. For those of you who didn't know already, heats is basically based off of series points, and these series points come off how you play in both of the qualifiers, but only in round two and three. To make heats, you need to get top 50 on the series point leaderboard. And in heats, also known on the compete tab as semi-finals, five matches will be played and all the winners from those five matches will get a spot in grand finals. To get top 50 on the series point leaderboard and make heats, you're probably going to need two qualifications into round three, which gives you a guaranteed spot or get a decent spot one week in round three and then get like a top 100 in round two. So now you guys are informed on how to do all of that. Now let's get onto tips for you guys to make it from round two into three and get those series points. From either playing in and watching all of round twos from last season, there's one thing I really learned and it was that you only need about two or three really good end games to qualify. This is especially true this season because there's a lot less people in round two, meaning you have to place in a lot lower percentage to qualify, meaning you have to stand out as much with better games. Because you don't need to play as consistent, only going for three really good games, that means you can take risks in endgame. Go for height, go for low ground, whatever works for you best, and make sure you're closing out those final placements in the ninth zone. If you need a refresh, go for it. There's no point wasting time with no loo and not getting a good game out of it. In my last FNCS video, I mainly focused on talking about tips for consistency in standing out over all those thousands of players in the Open. However, now we're on to the topic of round two. We're talking more high elo games and need for taking risks to get a big payout. For round two, try to devise a plan where you guys are getting those floppers to win off heal off, getting the Spider-Man for mobility and taking height at the end, and all things like that, which are gonna really help you guys win the game. Sometimes there will be potential that you'll die doing it, but when you manage to do it and it pays off, that's when you're gonna see those massive increase in points where you're winning games. Another thing that can work, and I know I'm gonna probably get some hate for this as it's really looked down upon, it's basically just starting late. I don't mean two hours, I mean just half an hour. But from seeing many round two games and of those of people who started slightly late, I saw a massive decrease in amount of players left, which means it's really easy for you guys to get those good games from unstacked lobbies where you can take risks, land at those big POIs, get the loot you need and win the games. And also you're in slightly lower elo. If you're in a high elo lobby, like top 100 or top 50, then I recommend not underestimating the surge. Don't settle with anything below 500 damage between the surge points. That is second zone, fourth zone and the moving zones. And that is just because although you might be safe half the time, other times there'll be times where you get caught off guard and then you'll be below the threshold, go through all your shields and potentially even die and get keyed. When practicing for FNCS, make sure in customs you're optimizing every part of your game, even the smallest bits. This includes just being the fastest possible looter at your landing spot and doing everything to the maximum efficiency. And this is so that you can spend more time getting in a car and focusing on positioning instead of scuffing around edge of zone and sacrificing positioning for loot. Now guys, to finish off the video, I'm just gonna be giving you some generic points, which I've just found in the past few weeks and days of VOD reviewing some pros, which are all according to the meta. And if you guys start to implement these things into your games, I'm sure you'll place a lot better because of it. First of all, I noticed that most pros have a plan for finding either light ammo or AR ammo, whether they're an MK7 player or an SMG player. In duos, I recommend one person carrying each so that you can have more ammo per person. And also you can have one person getting the drop downs and the refreshes and one person getting the long distance surge. The reason why you need to prioritize finding ammo is because for you guys who've played this season, you know that AR ammo and SMG bullets is just used so quickly because of the spray meta. So yeah, overall, just try to plan out some ammo boxes that you rotate through. Another thing I saw was a massive increase in the amount of people using cars for their rotates in mid game. What most people are doing is they're rotating in the first and second and maybe even third zone onto some refarmable brick, boxing around the car, chilling, looking for surge, and they're already able to do this because they've looted so quickly. Uh, and yeah, they can rotate to zone really nicely with the cars. Final thing that really stands out that I actually saw was the fact that there was hardly anyone actually using a shotgun. Most people were just rocking the MK and SMG meta 
and they're not playing for peaks they're mainly just playing to shoot through people's walls and then just jump in to finish them off so guys that's been it for this video i hope this helps you understand the format of finals and just a different way of playing around this meta with 400 or around 250 people in round two i don't think many people know that i've been daily uploading for like two months now so if you want to see this content every day then please subscribe and yeah guys thanks for watching the video